Hi viewers, I welcome you all to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to watch about how to install Cumulative Update in Exchange Server 2016. This video is prepared to cover all the steps involved in a Cumulative Update for Exchange Server 2016. We will cover the pre-check required for an update and after that we will talk about the pre-request which comes in an update and then a step-by-step -step demonstration on how to update a how to apply a cumulative update on Exchange Server 2016. Uh, before you begin any activity, you need to know uh, an estimated time to complete the activity. From my experience, I never crossed one hour to complete CU update for a standalone Exchange Servers. It's good to read the release notes also. This is how you will be uh, knowing about the updates that is available with the latest versions. The next thing is system requirement. This would be same as you are planning for an update you can double check about the system requirement uh, resource utilization and if it need any capacity increase or something then you can plan for that also so once you complete the installation the system require a restart the next point is to note is uh, it's it, it's a direct update you can jump directly from any build version to the latest one you don't need any in between updates any customizations like OWA login pages or web.config changes or registry changes need to be reapplied. Keep in mind that uh, you don't need to reapply the standard exchange configurations that are set by uh, Exchange Admin Center. And finally, based upon your update level, you may need to go for a .NET Framework update. Here uh, for Cumulative Update 7, .NET Framework 4.6.2 is required. So that is all about the things to know before you go for a Scumulate update for Exchange Server. Now let us talk about the pre-check required to be done uh, before you go for an update. The first thing is you need to review that you have a proper backup of uh, Exchange and AD and Exchange database. As I explained in the previous slide, you need to backup any customization that you have done. And also check the validity of your SSL certificate. So next is about the upgrade order. If you have Edge and Mailbox server in your organization, then first you have to go for Mailbox server and then following to that uh, you choose Edge transport server. So in case if you have a DAG setup, then you have to watch my another video to know how about uh, how to execute uh, this update on all the DAG servers. So let us start the demonstration. The first is how to download Exchange Server 2016 Cumulative Update. Browse uh, Microsoft uh, TechNet URL for uh, Exchange Server build versions. Uh, you can see one command is uh, get Exchange Server format list name. Just copy it and uh, we will run this command in uh, in the current Exchange Server to see uh, which build version uh, you are currently running. So right click on the Exchange Management cell and open it. Okay, just paste this command there, then I click enter. Now see uh, build 225.42. You can see this 225.42 is Exchange Server 2016 RTM, which released uh, 2015 October. And the latest available is Exchange Server 2016 CU7. So we will go for the download. For this, you can just click on the product name, Exchange Server 2016 CU7. Then you can click download to complete the download. Once you complete the downloading Exchange Server 2016 Cumulative Update, then you need to go for a .NET Framework installation. So based upon the CU level that you are uh, that you downloaded, you can choose the .NET Framework. Here I'm going to install CU7. So for me it is uh, 4.6.2. For this uh, you can go for Microsoft .NET Framework 4.62 download. Just click download. Okay. Let's start a downloading so once you complete the download you start installing with uh, microsoft.net framework double click on the setup file it 
it started as writing files. Continue with the wizard, open for the installation, click install. It will take a few minutes to complete the installation. Once you complete the installation, the system will ask for a, a restart. Okay, now it's time to restart. After you install .NET Framework successfully, the next step is to perform Active Directory schema changes and update. For this, you need to run three commands from the command prompt. So let us see how to do it. So next, uh, you mount uh, your Exchange Server uh, ISO file downloaded. Uh, then you can you just want to notice the drive letter that mounted. Then open command prompt. So in this step we are uh, going to prepare schema for uh, uh, Exchange Server CU update. So first you write the drive name, then uh, point out the setup file, then slash prepare schema and accept agreements. So once uh, the schema preparation completed, then you can go for uh, prepare AD. For that also the same command, uh, instead of prepare schema, you just, just change it to prepare AD. So once it complete, now the run, run the final command for uh, prepare domain. Once you complete the requirement of Active Directory uh, schema changes and updates, then you can start with Exchange Server 2016 Cumulative Update. Uh, here we follow an unattended installation setup through command prompt. It's a very quick and easy uh, step and this installation will take a few minutes uh, to stop the services, copy the files, then upgrading the components. Then finally uh, you will go for a restart. Okay, that's all about uh, this demonstration so you can see uh, the comment uh, how we can run it and also uh, the installation steps also next for the upgrade uh, so run the setup com dot exe then slash m dot upgrade command and this will uh, go for a unattended uh, setup so it will take a few time it will stop the services then it will copy files after that it will do the update uh, once all this complete, you need to kick off a uh, restart. 
restart then the everything will be okay you can validate it by the same command that which uh, we run that time to to verify the build number So that is all about the cumulative updates uh, in Exchange Server 2016. For commands and script, you can visit my website niasitpro.com. For more videos, subscribe my channel, Tech L Space. Thank you once again.